Many rules exist today about commas. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most commonly broken rules. This is the way a comma indicates that information is non-restrictive or restrictive. This means essential or not essential. Here's an example. George took his dog, who bites people, to the animal behaviorist. George took his dog, comma, who bites people, comma, to the animal behaviorist. If George has more than one dog, the absence of commas before and after the phrase specifies the dog. The characteristics of biting is limited to this dog. The other dogs are safe to be around. And if you knew George, you'd probably want to have this information. The second sentence implies that George has one dog. The important information in the sentence is that the dog is getting help for its problem. In the meantime, avoid the dog. You can figure out whether a phrase is restrictive or non-restrictive by trying the sentence without it. Here's another one. The store, which was established in 1855, is having a going out of business sale next week. Or, the store will be having a going out of business sale next week. This is the same sentence without the phrase that it was established in 1855. It might be sad that a store that was in business for so long is going out of business, but it's supplementary, such as it's non-essential information. The most important information is that the store is having a sale. Is this rule important? Any grammatical violations that make your reader pause to figure out what you're saying is essential because it interrupts the reader's absorption in what you've written. Since you don't want to do that, the answer is yes. Be sure to get a copy of my book, 52 Writing Tips, Fast and Easy Ways to Polish Your Writing. I share tips that will help you to communicate better and more fully and confidently. Go to patire.com and see my web store.